is uh, January the 5th, 2021, and I bring this uh, regular council meeting to order. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody, and uh, go Canada, go tonight. Resolve the agenda for the January 5th, 2021 regular meeting of council be adopted as received, moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Morio. All in favor? Opposed? Carry. Three result of the minutes of the December 15, 2020 regular council meeting, the December 17, 2020 special meeting, and the December 21st, 2020 special meeting be approved. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Councillor Pellorier. All in favor? Opposed? Carry. <laughs> Six. Result of the letter from Katie Cares be received as information. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Antoni. Discussion. You see the letter there. I believe you have received this request once before. Request for some donations to the Katie Care uh, Center. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 6.2 Result of the letter from the municipality of Manitoba's Bozeman be received as information. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Morio. See the letter there that was uh, on to MLA Wonchuk in regards to the uh, opposition to the roundabout. Any discussion? All in favor? Are, are we going to discuss it at some point here in the county or here? Pardon? Are we going to discuss the issue again, or are we, are we done? I think that we probably should discuss it again at a count meeting. Okay. Unless the council wants to have some discussion about right now. Council Delorier. We're, going to, we're discussing this letter, or we just think like we need to discuss the intersection? Well, what leads to the other? Right. The whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Seven point one. Result of the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Antoni, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion. Councillor White. Just a, a question. I'm not sure I know what a detention chamber at the WTP is. I know. I, I am sure. I don't know. Uh, it's basically uh, an oxid- oxidization chamber. We, we aerate uh, the chamber. It's the first process in a water treatment plant. It just it hasn't been cleaned uh, since the upgrade in 01. So what we're doing is just performing an inspection to see what needs to be done. It was brought on by some uh, uh, cloudy water that the operators noticed in our, our filtration system. So they immediately obviously uh, shut off the distribution system like not not to the town obviously but we stopped making water uh the council understands and, and basically we're just performing an inspection on that chamber to see what exactly is going on and we're guessing that build up of uh, uh manganese is basically broken away and just caused some suspended solids inside the chamber but uh it will be, be updated is, is that done often or, or just because of some issue happening uh, it's not, uh, depending on, depending on what we find, we obviously will be, will create a maintenance schedule. It, it all depends on, on what is found. It's, it's basically a concrete tank that the water is, uh, basically turbulent, turbulent. And there's, there's areas in there, but, uh, it is prior to the treatment process, but needed. Okay, thank you. Councillor Friesen and then Councillor Moria. I just had a question asked of me and I didn't know the answer. They have a microwave and a bunch of fluorescent light bulbs. Where would I have them to put them? Microwave was the e waste pile with the landfill. Inside? Is that inside? No, it's by the metal pile. Okay. It's, uh, there's a big red sign. Okay. And the bulbs, uh, they have blocks. Right inside? Yeah, that. The bulbs, I believe, are inside. inside. 
the, the bulbs, you know, when you put them uh, on the scale, you actually will give them to them and then they'll put them in a box for you. They're fluorescent bulbs, you asked? Fluorescent light bulbs? Yeah. What did you say about them? You go to the scale and then they'll come out, they'll grab them for you, they'll put them in a box for you. Okay. Council Moore. Thank you. Uh, two things. Um, I wish, uh, as it's noted on the report, uh, Mr. Kelly Tibble on uh, his retirement, 24 years with the town. So congratulations for that. And then hopefully he enjoys his retirement. Um, but also you see on the uh, report that was uh, an attachment regarding uh, the engineering survey equipment that Mr. Poole's sent out last week um, for some review and discussion tonight. So Mr. Poole, if you want to elaborate on that, that'd be appreciated. Yeah, the, the details are in the report. In summary, uh, it's it's a misquote. Uh, the, the assumptions were made by myself and the salesperson that the base base material for our GPS system was included. It was not. Uh, I don't think this changes uh, the fact that we need this. Uh, we, we would save we would save what this is worth, even though it's thirteen thousand dollars more than. Uh, our budget number uh, twenty eight thousand dollars is is pretty cheap for how much we can use a survey a survey for the next twenty years on our capital projects. Everything is detailed in the report, but uh, uh, we can we can purchase the rover portion of the the package in twenty twenty, uh, and the remainder of the controls and the base station can be budgeted in twenty twenty one. But obviously, that would be a resolution. Since I would, I would ask that it be purchased prior to the financial plan being Um Yeah, that's all. It's just uh, um, I take it based on your recommendation that uh, through past uh, experiences that uh, this is an essential piece of equipment uh, where we've learned firsthand by not having this modern equipment um, in house that we pay excess and double than what this equipment actually costs by having a contractor do the surveying for roads and stuff, things like yeah, that. Yeah, a mistake, a mistake on surveying when you're building a road can, can be in the tens of thousands very, very fast. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm willing to make the motion that we uh, proceed as recommended with the $15,000 purchase for the 2020 expenditure and then the remainder in 2021. Uh, we can do that in, um, I guess we can do that in new business. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So. Uh, Councillor Gray. Okay. Okay. Uh, when I read the material, it was read the second time. I know we saw the first time it was located. How often do we act? have we ever used the equipment or has it been always been contractors? We well the surveying that we do is chain and eleven. So right. that's completely separate but very inaccurate. Um, right. It's nineteen seventies technology. Right. So but we use it on every road that we build in house. If we contract it, they have their surveyors come up and they use this type of system. And have we Pay for this type of system? Uh, not by itself, only when we get a contractor to build the entire room. It's included in their, their price. So we don't know if you just pay, pay for what you're talking about is the savings if there's a mistake. That's correct. Right? That's yeah. that's what I understood. And then the cost of doing it so we can do it ourselves all the time. That's correct. Okay. And have we had a mistake? Yeah. Uh, on a, just an example, in two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar rubber base job, we, there's a forty thousand dollar mistake that the state cost the town forty thousand dollars. And it was our, it was our, it was it was Okay. Um, don't we need two separate resolutions? We're doing two taxation. Don't we need two separate Yeah. Just, just, just as a matter of process. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the first fifteen thousand is already passed in the current or the twenty twenty expenditure already under capital. So, capital budget. Um, right. so 
be just, a, I guess, a remainder for the, for the piece. Um, I see if this is for a used one. How used is it? Uh, this one is three years. Three old. years old. Okay. What's the what's the lifespan on on this equipment? Well, it depends how it's treated, but uh, you know, properly, I would say they say in twenty years we shouldn't be able to use this. It's it's not the bells and whistles. It doesn't have gadgets we need it for topographic surveys and basically roadline layouts so that we can provide those functions. So it's pretty standard. The software will require updating over time, but the, the equipment to survey the base station will, that technology will, will last 20 years. And, and what's the cost for us to rent it? Uh, it would be separate. I don't I don't know what the rover would cost to rent. I don't know those numbers. And I, I guess I don't know what the base station either. We never did pursue it. We, there was discussions that we would talk to agricultural dealerships because they do have base stations. Uh, but whether they would be even willing to entertain it, uh, we would have to enter into agreements on those rental costs. We would go up from year to year. Uh, our preference would be you obviously know, because we're going to use it for the next 20 to 30 years. The reason I ask is, is, is there's also a lost opportunity cost of tips to the tax pool. So it's $30,000 tax, um, 5% of $1,500. So it costs more than $1,500 a year in rental. Then, then it's not that we save, if we save $3,000, we actually pay 1500 so it's 20 years to recover the food for 3,000. Right. I, I have to be honest, I don't have the numbers to tell you that, uh, you yeah. Further discussion on the Director of Public Works report? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Council Memorial, maybe we can add that resolution to 8.6. <clears throat> uh, 72721. Result of the November 2020 Swan River Handy Transit Plan report be received. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Deputy Mayor Matoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Council and CAO reports. Uh, Counselors don't get heard. Most times, the two counselors are going to be on video, so we're going to let them go first. So, Counselor Gray, go first, and then Counselor Freeze. I don't have a lot to report. There was from our last meeting, we had some in camera and other sessions. I'm not going to promise to report on those. Uh, and we had some, some other meetings that were scheduled, but nothing that was significant. So, there's nothing that really is significant other than say Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, and, all of our staff. And so we do have some reports coming from our creation for the next committee goal. Okay, thank you. And Councillor Fraser. Um, I was at a community as a care meeting uh, yesterday afternoon and uh, everything's going well with them except that because of COVID they haven't been doing their, a lot of their programs. Um, Lorianne set up our Christmas Facebook challenge and uh, did a video. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but it's really good. And out of 32 families that uh, posted um, their Christmas stuff, uh, five were uh, winners and were each given uh, $50 chamber bucks as a prize. Nice. Yes, it was nice. Um, uh, if you want to know anything about communities of care, just uh, talk to me because I could go on and on. Also, uh, Mistletoe Magic is wrapping up on Saturday. It's the last night the lights will be on. Um, so far, from calculating, we've had over 4,000 cars go through there because we keep track every night. There has to be somebody supervising to make sure no one gets out of the vehicle. So. Thursday night is my last night, and we just keep track of the cars that go through, and it's been very, very well attended. 
and hopefully we'll be able to do bigger and better next year. Um, that's it. Thanks. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, and uh, the uh, the the light show was total magic. Uh, we were down there with my kids. They must be about fifteen times. Yeah. They had, they wanted to go through it, so it was good. Uh, Deputy Mayor Montoni. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I don't have anything to report on uh, meeting fronts. It was um, a good holiday season and Happy New Year to all of our our uh, ratepayers out there. And um, of course, the Mistletoe Magic was a hit. Um, and thank you, Councillor Friesen, for volunteering your time uh, to watch those vehicles go through. So thank you for that. Um, and other than that, to uh, all my Ukrainian family and friends out there, Christos Rizdaitz, yeah. It was easy for him to say. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councilor Moria. Um, I had no meetings this uh, period, but uh, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year, 2021. Uh, hopefully uh, this year will be better than last year going forward that we won't uh, be restricted with uh, COVID-19 as much as we were last year. Um, I also would like to uh, congratulate our MLA uh, Wolchuk on his appointment today to be the legislative assistant to the Minister of Agriculture. So congratulations, Mr. Wolchuk. And if we could have uh, added to our agenda next Tuesday at our cow meeting, um, I need to talk to you, uh, a council and get guidance on uh, some of the direction that we're going to have at the next uh, Provincial Justice Advisory Committee. Uh, that we're having on the 15th uh, in regards to uh, the uh, funding review that we were made privy of with the meeting, uh, Minister of Justice regarding that re uh, funding reviews. I need some direction from council on that. So that's all I have. Okay, thank you. Councillor White. I'm not sure whether the report on the meeting with Minister Schroeder from MIT, but certainly uh, I was appreciative of the fact that he's looking at Ditch Road as a possibility. No commit commitments from any of them, and the drainage in the RMS Fun Valley West with uh, a mutual project with ourselves. And the business consortium and a bunch of us attended, and a lot of concerns over COVID and that issue too. And I've had a couple meetings with PMH uh, relative to the process for hiring the new chief administrative officer. That's moving on quickly. And again, COVID protocols, I keep worrying that people think we're out of the, we're out of here, we're not. I think it's 110, 150, 130. It's increasing again, and I'm not sure where the numbers will go post-Christmas and uh, New Year's. So I would encourage our listening audience, our viewing audience to, uh, this thing isn't over yet, so uh, please uh, practice the appropriate and very easy to follow protocols. A question came up, and I'm, I'm going to throw it back at our, our administrative staff. Where do we dispose of the sharps? The sharps being needles that the drug people are using and leaving outside where they shouldn't. We pick them up. Where do they go? Uh, you can take them to public health. Well, the ones that we pick up. In the ones our, that we pick up, we have dispensers on town property that our employees use. And they take them to public health? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I want to echo uh, Councilor Morial's comments. Uh, Minister Peterson, also Minister of Conservation and Agriculture, is the new legislative assistant to that. And for those of us, uh, Councilor uh, Antonio, who celebrates the Julian calendar uh, Christmas, uh, Happy Ukrainian Christmas, Dujadabe Yakyu. It's a big deal. And I want to echo Councilor Moore's comments earlier. Kelly Timble has worked for us for 24 years. Uh, he's retiring and uh, good for him. And uh, thank him and, uh, for all of his work. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Um, just a request for our next Cal meeting. If we could ask Chief Dorchuk to uh, prepare some. Uh, I think we need a discussion on uh, the uh, fee, a fee review for fire non uh, non contract fire department services. So and I, I think council would probably want a little bit of input on, on some parameters surrounding that review. Um, another comment on the uh, on the uh, cabinet shuffle today, and I'm only half joking when I say this, but I think they do that on purpose to us. Just when we think we're getting some progress with the cabinet minister. They, they shuffle them out so that we got to get a new one all trained up. And having said that, 
Um, and with the Minister of Health being shuffled up, we need to send a, a letter out this week, uh, you know, updating them on the progress we've made with Minister Friesen, because I'm sure Minister Friesen had lots of irons in the fire, and he may forget to update his uh, his uh, replacement about our particular situation. In addition to sending that letter, I think we should send her the report uh, from a couple of years ago, so that she's up to speed on everything. Um, you know, it kind of frustrates me to, a little bit when they do this because he, he was intimately aware of, of where we were at and, you know, we were gaining some traction within the bureaucracy and I hope that we can still continue that, that traction we had with the, with the new minister. So, so I think you know, if you can send a letter pronto updating her uh, on where we were at and give her the background information on how we got there. Yeah. Uh, and you can suggest we can meet with her to... Yeah, yeah. 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 But I think send, send the letter right. and in the letter say we willing to meet, but I think we got to do that soon. We can't lose traction on that. Thank you. Uh, that that is uh, it for me. Okay. Happy New Year. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I said the same earlier. Happy New Year and Happy New Year to all our Ukrainian uh, folks that are celebrating uh, uh, Christmas here in a couple of days, I should say. Uh, also, I'd like to, uh, since we didn't we didn't have an opportunity to uh, do so uh, last Christmas, uh, which we usually have at our Christmas supper, our recognition uh, awards to all our employees of uh, years of significant service uh, to the municipality. So um, I'd like to congratulate each of these. I'll name them off uh, for five years. Uh, Terry Ganita, uh, who is our chief financial officer. Shauna Campbell. Uh, the Aquatic Center, Krista, Crystal Kublik, Aquatic Center, Lane Bresky, Aquatic Center, Brooklyn Makasov, Aquatic Center, Doreen Kuralich, Kuralich, uh, sorry, thank you, Handy Van Operator, 10 years, Wade Davey, Public Works, 15 years, Earl Janai, Recreation and Custodian Laborer, uh, new la- uh, employees that we have, Carmela Brady, Payroll, Dustin Vespi, Public Works, and Derek Pewish, Animal Control Bylaws. And of course, congratulations to Kelly Timble for serving 24 years with the town of Swanover. We wish him all the best in, in where he goes in his retirement and puts his feet up and relaxes for a little bit. So, anyway. uh, again, Councillor uh, Friesen. I forgot. Okay. I walk out at the museum every afternoon. I just would like to tell people that the river is um, flooding. So don't be driving on it with your ski or skiing on it or anything else. It's wet. So you have to walk on the bank when you're walking at the museum. Okay. Just a safety thing. Good. We should maybe get that up, maybe post that on our on our social media. Thank you, Councillor Freeze. And then with the Councillor Delorier's comments with the new health minister, definitely we have to do that. We just received a letter here just a few days ago from the health minister with the questions that we were asking about uh, CT scan or a few other things. So now we kind of feel like we're starting all over again, but uh, you know we'll get right on that and, and hopefully we'll get some traction with this new minister. But we've been working with uh, uh, you know shared health and with Prairie Mountain Health at the same time, so we'll just keep working along. As time goes on, and hopefully in 2021, some of these restrictions will uh, relax a little bit and as we get closer to summertime and we can get working a little bit harder on eating and, and getting together and, and dealing with some of these issues that we're looking for uh, dealing with the town of Swan River. 8.1 Result of the town of Swan River endorse and support the multi community application to the Universal Broadband Fund. To by broadband access to communities in the Parkland region. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Light. Discussion? All in favor? No questions? Councillor White. Okay, all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Thank you. 8.2. Whereas sections 365 2 of the Municipal Act provides that Council may in any year designate the immediately preceding year or any earlier year as the year for which property which properties the taxes in respect of 
which are in arrears for the year must be offered for sale by auction to recover the tax arrears and costs. Be it resolved that the designated year for which properties in arrears be offered for, for sale by auction be 2020, meaning all properties with outstanding taxes from the year 2019 or prior. And be it further resolved that in accordance to sections 363 1 of the Municipal Act, costs shall be actual costs incurred for each parcel listed for the 2021 tax sale plus an administration fee of $50 as set forth in the Manitoba Regulation 5097 and be further resolved that the 2021 tax sale be held Wednesday, September the 8th, 2021 at 2 p.m. in the Town of Swan River Council Chambers and the tax service will be hired to manage the tax sale for the town during the fiscal year 2021. Moved by Councillor Memorial, seconded by Councillor Gray. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.3 result of the Director of Public Works wage be temporary. I would suggest this go to the cameras. Should not Can't pass resolutions in camera. You don't have to on camera. Sure it doesn't matter. <clears throat> result of the Director of Public Works be temporarily increased. Effective December 18, 2020, as per Schedule A, due to additional workload until a new CA is hired. Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Gray. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.4. Result of the offer to purchase. For Lot 3, Plan 1676, be accepted and signed by the Acting Chief Administrative Officer. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Deprimator Wentoni. Discussion, Councillor Gray. Um, just one other question. Are all the services and everything are there? We call the process to make the asphalt curve, so we're all there, like the full service, so we don't have any other costs. Uh, the town will have costs. They just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For the discussion, all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. I agree. You should be able to separate it. If they don't build in two years, then they don't get the discount on the way you tax this. Result, the Director of Public Works be authorized to commence the hiring process to fill a vacant labor one position. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Councillor Gray, do you have a question? I was just going to make a comment. Uh, firstly, it, it probably should be the CAO, but um, since that's where we can be technically responsible, although it will be delegated, I presume, the CAO or delegates is the actual break. And I want to commend administration. This is exactly what the process for hiring exactly in my view okay we have to i'm going to call the question again all in favor opposed it's carried 8.6 result the town of swoner purchased the surveying equipment base station and controlling accessories for thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy nine dollars plus applicable taxes from how do you say that in the eight count Nika, Nika right. Mover, moved by Councillor Morio, seconded by Councillor Gray. All in favor, discussion? All in favor, opposed, it's carried. That's your entire couple budget for a year. <laughs> 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 Resolve that the accounts as follows be hereby approved for payment. Gen general accounts checks number 27063 to number 27103 as listed on Schedule A, totally $181,849.68. Payroll accounts checks number 4782 to number 4786 as listed at Schedule B, totally $9,257.60. Payroll accounts checks number 4787 
to number 4794 as listed as on Schedule B, totaling $124,015.28. Direct deposits as listed on Schedule C, totaling $700. Direct deposits as per Schedule D for $16,196.84. Direct deposits as per Schedule E for $18,115.89. Direct deposits as per Schedule F for $1,200. Pre-authorized payments as per Schedule B, G for $29,511.11. Pre-authorized payment as per Schedule A, H for $31,776.80. Pre-authorized payment as per Schedule I, for $64,788.95. Pre-authorized payment as per Schedule J for $65,070.80. Pre-authorized payment as per Schedule K for $67,200.39. Pre-authorized payment for as per Schedule L for $100,937.18. Pre-authorized payment as per Schedule M for $368,000. 321 and 91 or 97 cents. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Deputy Mayor Lentoni. Discussion. Questions, Councillor uh, Mike. Uh, Mr. Healy, I'm sure obviously he's doing a wonderful job because I'm not seeing any crows around. Not that there are here. Uh, what does pest mean? I don't know what crow control means. What is, how do you define pest? Beavers, crows, Rats, a nuisance. And, you, and that's reported by a citizen and he goes and deals with it? Yes, yeah. He has, he has a process that he follows uh, <coughs> to be able to use his firearm in the town. He has to he's involved. Uh, he has to follow the process. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what's next? What else? Go ahead, Councilor Morgan. Uh, two questions. Um, Check number 27068 to LC contracting. Um, I imagine that's the remainder for the well control building. Um, are we, that we not be completely dispersing those funds yet? Or? It's near no, that is for the, the entire uh, well control building. Oh, yeah, then never mind. Okay. Well Thank you. you. Thinking of wrong person. That's when we get the whole thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, second question, and it's not check related, um, but through a number of reports here, I see a number of our administrative staff uh, using personal credit cards for town expenditures that being reimbursed. And there's some of them that are in significant numbers here. Um, is there a process where we can uh, amend that so that we don't have personal staff or staff using their personal uh, financial credit cards to? Uh, more or less fund town expenditures till they get reimbursed? Yeah, that, that's actually already the policy. The reason they did that is I had the credit card in my truck, my wallet actually. But uh, yeah, we, we try not to do that. Actually. Mm -hmm. Next time I will come on, like come in, we do a try and do whatever it takes to avoid exactly what's happening here last week. Can we look at maybe a couple of additional credit cards for these senior uh, positions. We do have department credit cards that we do try whether it works, fire, um, recreation, stable. We all have credit cards that we can use them amongst the department, but once in a while. Yeah, in the future, uh, I can tell them to get a little patty if you use hers. All costs not to do, just have a possibility. Yeah, because looking at that number, that's a significant number to fit out and wait for reimbursement. So. Okay, thanks. Okay, for the discussion, all in favor, opposed, it's carried. 13, resolved in pursuance of sections 152-3 of the municipal act. We go to the committee and close the meeting to the public. We're going to have to discuss uh, municipal uh, negotiations. Moved by Councilor Delorier, seconded by Councilor Friesen. All in favor, opposed, it's carried. All right, Kevin. Okay. Resolved this regular meeting of council now be adjourned at 8.20 p.m. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Friesen. 
discussion. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Thank you very much.